Hey everyone, so this is the tutorial I was telling you guys about. Um, this is actually going to be, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do one full video or if I have to do it in two parts, but this is like part one of of two or maybe just the first part of a whole video, so we'll see how that works out. So this is the macaroni crab meat salad. Um, this is one of my grandmother's recipes and this is actually a very big time summer favorite salad um, amongst my family. What you're so. going to need is um, four hard boiled eggs, mayonnaise, some crab meat imitation, imitation crab meat, sorry, um, one onion, you can either use red or yellow or white or you know whatever you want, um, chopped up. And obviously the macaroni, I used a whole box and um, it's all cooked, it's drained in my sink right now so I'm just waiting for that to be uh, all finished with. So what I need to do first is I need to crack open the eggshells off my hard, hard boiled eggs I'm going to place them right in the bowl. have all four eggs all um, disheveled. All you have to do is take a fork and if you can <laughs> try to mash them up. So you want to get it to just about that much consistency. You want if you can try to do it more, great. If not, then this is as good as you're gonna get. Okay. So very simple. One box of cooked elbow macaroni. I actually overcooked mine just a little bit more than I would have liked to. Um, so you really want it at the al dente um, uh, texture, you know, where it's not overcooked, but it's not undercooked. It's right at that, you know, it's soft, but it's still got a teeny tiny bite to it. Um, so you want to drain it, rinse it, and let it just cool down a little bit. This is a cold salad. This is not a warm salad. Okay, so it's all broken up. It's all ready to go. Okay, so we're going to add our egg.
So next we are going to add the mayonnaise. Mayo, mayonnaise. And you want it to be cold, so if it's a new jar like this one is, put it in the refrigerator for a little while so it cools out. say about half the jar we're going to start with and if we need more then we'll just add more as we go along. is some black pepper. And also some salt. And the salt and pepper is only to taste. It's, you know, depending on how much you can um, stand on your food. Usually it adds up to about maybe a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of each. And like I said, it's to taste, so you want to taste this and, you know, add more if you need it and then taste it again before you just keep adding it because if you keep adding it, you're going to get a very peppery, salty salad and it won't taste good. Now, I suggest doing the salad the night before and let it chill overnight or the first thing in the morning and let it chill in the refrigerator for a little while, but take it out maybe about... 15 20 minutes um, before serving it so it you know it you know lets some of the chill out you know it gets to about, almost about room temperature okay let me take a quick taste oh, crab meat salad yum let me see here not bad okay now I'm happy. Of course, I always feel like I'm missing something because, you know, it's nothing like my grandma makes. But it's pretty good. See, and it's pretty to see all the colors. You got the salmon -y color from the crab meat and the purple from the red onion, or purple onion as I call it. So, okay. I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna cover this up, let it sit overnight in the fridge, and tomorrow morning when I come back on, I'm gonna be making the hot wings, and I'll show you what my little sequence of events on that is. Try one more taste of this. Good. Alright guys, so I'll talk to you in a little bit. Bye!